Okay, so this is the wake-up light that I'm actually replacing. And the only reason it's being replaced is because I don't like the colour of the numerals, uh, especially at night time. And although it dims after 11 o'clock, it's still a, a yellow light that I don't like. So the one that I've found is completely different. It's a, it's a white, um, or as, as white as you can get anywhere, numbers. Right, so this is the uh, clock all set up, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through some of the setup process just so that you can see how easy it is. Before I do that though, let's just have a look on the back of it and a look at some of the buttons. Now, this isn't the cable that you get with it. This is the cable that was with the old one, but because it's already wired in, I'm not going to uh, use the one that comes with it. You also get a USB plug um, or a plug adapter that comes with it. So you get a three pin plug adapter. So you get everything that you need to be able to plug it in and work this. And this is obviously your FM aerial. Right, nice rubber stop on the bottom and two legs. So when you put it down, let me just turn that off. Uh, when you put it down, it's not going anywhere. It's nice and stable. And on the top, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Um, zoom in, see if you can see it. Seems to be a bit blurred. There we go, that's it. Right, so you've got, these are, these are basically your buttons to control it with. So this one and this one you use for uh, choosing your FM channel, for setting your time, etc., etc. The center one's your snooze button. If I turn it around this way, you've got four buttons. You've got your first alarm button, your second alarm button, because you can set it up for two alarms. You've got your button uh, for setting the time and your button for, well, not setting your time. You can set your time with it, uh, but you can also switch it back to the time. And this is your button for FM. So for switching it, the radio on, and then you use these buttons on top for actually choosing the stations or picking the stations. And then on this side, we've got, if I can just see it properly. So this is the sound button that you use for changing the sound. This is the, uh, sleep timer for for the light and this changes just see that so you've got Fahrenheit or centigrade there Let's swap that back turn the light off and then the bottom one is again if I can see it properly that's the brightness of this so so that's as bright as it will go let me just zoom back out again sorry Right, so that's as bright as, as it'll go. However, um, I could, I'm going to leave it at that because that's not going to keep me awake at night. If I did want it dimmer though, this button on the side there, you can press it. That's as dim as it goes. And then you've got another setting there. And then finally, that's the brightest one. So dim, not as dim and bright. Okay, let's go through the lights. So on this side, that switches your light on and this is your color there. So if we put that on, sorry, if we just touch that. So you've got a, a, a warm light. Um, it's not a white light or a colored light. And this is your brightness. You can just go through it there up to the max, or you can press on it or press on it like that and jump straight to it. Now, obviously it's changing on the camera, but I can tell you that's a warm light. Let's just bring it back down there so that you can see it better. If we press on this side now, you go to your colored lights. Now that's a deep red light. I'm not too sure how it's going to show up on the camera. That's a deep red light. And you can just cycle through them. So green, blue, yellow. Um, can't remember what that one's called. Turquoise. And then that's your white light. Now, the next ones, these cycle automatically. And if you press it again. So this is cycling, but you can see there's a, there's a color as it cycles round and you now it's at the sides there. So you've got various colors there or blues with a green in, uh, and it's gradiated as well. And if we go to the next one, so there's an orange in here now. So this is, is true multicolor. And then that's off. And at any time you can just keep your finger on the button and it'll switch off the same with the with that, turn it up, keep your finger on the button and it turns off. Okay, let's have a look at some of the audio stuff now. 
So again, using the button on the side there, where you've got where it says FM, if you press that, before I press it, 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 it cycles through all the FM stations and automatically stores them. So when you press it, the one that I've been listening to is set up on, it's 92.8 and it's set up on program five. You can go through those just by going through them like that. And you've got your volume buttons here. So this is your plus and your minus. So we press that and turn that off. So now you can hear it there. Let's turn it back down again. Down to zero. Um, and we'll take it back. Um, because I was on five, wasn't I? Right, just turn that up a, a bit. And then you keep your finger on the side and that should turn that off like that. The button that's got time on it there, when you're setting the time, all you do is you press that and it comes up and it, using, again, these buttons up at the top, you just change it from, uh, you set it to the year. So here we go, 2020. And then obviously the month and the day and you just cycle it through. And if you leave it after a few seconds, it just goes back to the normal display showing the time and the temperature. Some final functions on it. With the snooze that's on the top there, have a look at that, that's your snooze. You can change it so that there's either no snooze, uh, five minute snooze, nine minute snooze, or 15 minute snooze. And if you press it again, that's your snooze button off. And then on the side here, uh, you've got your sleep button, which basically means that you can set up the light to either be on for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or two hours before it switches off. To set the alarms, as I say, you've got two alarms on the side there, and basically you just press it, and then using the buttons on the top, You just change it to whatever time you want to set it to. And then once it's set, you should just flip back again like that. It shows an alarm bell. Let me just zoom in. There you go. It shows an alarm bell and says number one on it. So obviously that's for the number one alarm. Come back out again. And to turn it off, just keep your finger on the side there. And it goes off. And once you've set it up to turn it on at night, you just press it and it'll come on and obviously it'll flip back to the time showing that the alarm's set. So let's just turn that off. Now some of the sounds for the alarm, if we go through those on the side here. Nice little bird song to wake you up. change the volume of the alarm as well let's just bring that down now let's just see if we can cycle through these so that's like a, a C one a wave one oh, let's go it's thunder and lightning wind crickets rain more rain Train. Don't know what that is. And you're back to the beginning again. These, let me just turn it down. So these are your normal alarms, uh, normal alarm sounds. You choose whichever is the best for you personally. I don't want to be walking abruptly, um, especially when you're using the wake-up light. If you've if you've never ever used a wake up light, let me just turn this off. If you're relying on just a noise to wake you, then you wake abruptly and it's not nice. If you're in a sleep, if you're in a deep sleep or if you're dreaming, to be suddenly taken out of that, it's not a nice feeling. What you get with a wake up light, however, is even if it's dark in the morning, which is the best thing, and your curtains are drawn, before the alarm actually goes off, the light comes on gradually um, from 
from nothing to dim to brighter and then to full brightness ultimately. And what that does is it, it tricks your mind into thinking that it's becoming daylight and you need to be getting up. So when the alarm goes off, you may actually find that you're waking up without the alarm, but when the alarm goes off, you're not in as deep a sleep as you would have been without it. I say, if you've never woken up that way and you're continually being woken by your alarm, this is a fantastic thing to do. So obviously it's a recommendation for me. I much prefer the uh, the colour of it, the colour of the n numerals than, um, than the yellow ones. Um, yeah, it does exactly what it's supposed to do and I, I like it.